Hi, Casper here on the 29th of March 2017. We'll do a quick tasting note, uh, largely because I've got a horrible cold. Um, so let's get it over with. Um, wine we offered oh, a very, very long time ago. Uh, this is from my own cellar, it's 2001. The Descendant from uh, Australian winery Torbreck. Uh, and I'm going to look at the back, I've already seen it, says 14.5%. I think all the fruit comes from uh, Barossa. There we are, Shiraz with a dash of Viognier. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of, a lot of authorities, authorities uh, would say that this is uh, just about run its race. But let's go, very deep, lots of red about the colour. What my cold filled nose. Can smell it sort of domestic, plum, snappy, red and black, spice. A bit of the pastel about it, a bit of sort of Barossa pastel. I always think there's that ripe sort of fruit pastel kind of thing going on with Barossa. Very bit of nice wine, not overly jammy, nice control on the aromas. Um, let's take a sip. Mm. And lots of structure in there. Gosh, there's a lot of a lot of tannin, really spiced tannin within the fruit, and at the finish it sort of emerges and wanders about your palate. Um, a domestic, sort of slightly smoky, red and black, very spicy fruit. Mm. And there's good fruit, fruit concentration here as well. Um, you know, I don't think there's any hurry to drink this. It's um, it's, it's less sort of jammy and exuberant than one might expect. It's got ch chocolatey aspects to it. It's mouth filling. It's it's a big wine. You know, it's, it's bold, but it's it's dry. It hasn't got a lot of sweet jammy sort of um, ripeness about it. Um, and I think in these fruit, I wouldn't I wouldn't please try to drink much of this on its own. I think uh, the carpet would beckon. Um, after a glass and a half, but um, let's see, it might cure my cold, who knows. There we are, 2001 Descendant from uh, Torbrek in the Barossa, Australia.